we kind of had like a, a during the off season we did a lot of Zoom calls. Well, not a lot of Zoom calls. We had Zoom calls every day. So kind of like mentally preparing for the season and what could be thrown at us and how we're going to handle it. And uh, his mantra has been the same as far as like taking it one day at a time, control what we can control, do what he's going to do his best, his due diligence to keep us safe. And all we can do is uh, do the same. To have that leadership from the top down, what does that do for your team and for yourself? As foundation, as a structure, you know, that when it starts at the top, it kind of like just trickles down to uh, everybody and everybody following Sue. So we're doing our best to follow the protocols and just kind of like uh, just do our part. Awesome. Thanks, Steph. No doubt. Hey, Stefan, John Scott. Um, while you guys have, have done your part and haven't had positive tests, certainly others have, would you? Not for yeah, you're right. Um, would you be comfortable facing the Titans, understanding uh, th what they've been going through over the past week or so? Um, being in a position that we are, uh, you know, uh, we kind of can only control our end of it. You know, we can't control the other side. So uh, control the controllables and trust that they're going to put us in a safe environment come Sunday uh, if there is a game or if there's not. Um, but for us, we're going to prepare like there's a game, you know, uh, anticipate it being a game and practice like there's going to be a game. So even if there isn't a game, we're preparing for every opponent and we want to stay, you know, on point. Is there any level of frustration, understanding you guys have been doing your part, but others uh, around the league have not? Not at all. Um, everybody's being understandable. You know, this isn't a one-team league. It's 32 teams. Everybody's doing the best that they can. Things are going to happen. And uh, this is a – this isn't just a league-wide disaster or whatever. You know, the world's going through it as well. So, as far as, like, handling it one day at a time, and, you know, I'm being understanding more than anything because I feel for those guys, too. As far as, like, people, Thank you. people being sick, you don't want anybody sick. Thank you. No doubt. Hey, uh, Stefan, Mike, Catalana. Uh, when you've taken the field in these four games, have you gone out there with the feeling that it was a COVID-free environment with all the testing? And if so... Has that been shaken at all? Now we know a Raiders player or maybe two were positive. Stefan Gilmore played and was positive during the game. Has that changed? And did you go out there in the field thinking everybody's been tested and we're all good? Yeah, from my point of view, I can only speak individually. Uh, I trust that we get put in a safe environment no matter what guys um, tested positive. Uh, for us, that's why I say I kind of just throw my part. You know, I trust that my teammates are doing the same. I can't speak for other guys. Uh, and it's, it's no like no point of finger kind of thing. Things happen. But uh, for us, it's just anticipating the worst. And if things do happen, kind of work, you know, kind of working through them. So uh, I trust that it's a safe environment. I'm more focused on um, doing my job, you know, uh, doing the best I can playing receiver. So I can't really worry about everything else. When you do all of that, like what's the reaction in the locker room when you do find out a couple of players from the Raiders were positive? The guys out there trying to tackle you during a game. Does that – What's that discussion like? What do the guys say? Or how do you guys handle things like that? Um, probably like, damn, oh, somebody got it. Oh, damn, this guy got it. Oh, we played them. I mean, we get tested for Corona every day. So uh, getting swabbed is probably at least of our concern. You know, um, if you get swabbed and you pass the test when you can come in the building, you presume that you're, um, you're negative. So uh, other than just damn, that's pretty <laughs> much it. All right. It's kind of unfortunate. That's all I say. Thank you. No doubt. Steph Finesse, Mookie Hawkins, Welfare Sports 1080. How's it going, How man? You? How you doing? I'm good, man. A little windy outside, but that's Buffalo for you, right? For sure. 4-0, um, y'all doing an awesome job with this offense. You know, the whole, you know, y'all taking the NFL world by storm. You're leading the league in receiving yards. Uh, so, you know, how, how, how is it, how challenging is it for you guys to, consistent knowing that uh, teams are going to have book on you, you know? It's the first quarter of the season. Um, it's, it's super early. So for us, uh, I don't think anybody over here is drinking the Kool-Aid before. So we got a lot, a lot of more work to do. This is over the half of the season. We're not even halfway through. And uh, we're still not executing at the, at the highest level as we can. You know, we're playing well at times. And there's still a lot of things we can get better at. And that's the same thing we say each and every day at, uh, at every position. They uh, preach it to us, and we we live by it. You know, we can do a lot of things better. I can be a lot better. And I feel like, uh, probably just trying to get comfortable over the time, you got to remember that we've only been together for X amount of days. We haven't had that too much of an off-season together. So kind of building that 
um, just that foundation and keep approaching every day of trying to get better and uh, dying by that because at the end of the day, we got a long ways to go and I, dude, that shit's in the past now. I'm trying to go one and oh. Absolutely. And speaking of that, how much do you trust Josh Allen? Um, I trust him 100%. You know, just to see him. This is my first. I, I wasn't here last year. I don't know. I can't tell you what last year was like, but I can tell you what this year was like. And that's that's a that's a leader on our team. That's a guy that I I, I love playing for, and I love playing beside. So um, I believe in him. Uh, each and every play, whatever he whatever he's with, I'm with, and whatever he want to do, I'm with it. So it's kind of like uh, out there. It's, it's like slowly coming together, but you know, it's an everyday process. We learn new things about each other each and every day, and uh, I'm I'm enjoying the process. I'm smiling hey, at you. Do my mask. You wouldn't know that though. <laughs> right. Yeah. Just keep finessing those DBs out there for 49 yards. Yeah. My, my man, Rocket Man, out there, man. Good luck this week. Whenever week, however week, I know you'll be ready. Thanks, big guy. I appreciate it. Okay, Stefan, Mark on from the Buffalo News. Uh, just uh, what do you think of the challenge uh, you guys are giving to secondaries when you go for wide receivers? Um, I mean, obviously, a lot of teams like to stay in nickel, but if they want to play man, that means the safety, some safe, some receivers covered by a safety if you're playing man. But just kind of like, what do you see as the uh, challenge that the defense has against uh, your four receivers? I feel like we got a, a, lot, of, a lot of guys that can play well uh, at the receiver position, a lot of guys that can make plays. Uh, not even just at the receiver position. We line up motor out wide or knocks out wide. It's somebody that you got to account for because guys can make plays on the outside. So as far as I lined up just for a while, it just, it isn't just one of us out there. It's a lot of us out there. Hopefully um, we're executing at a high level that everybody's getting open and catching the ball. But as far as like a difficulty, you know, everybody can presume that it's not as difficult as it looks. So just everybody just trying to do their job on our end. 